Hey everybody, it's me, Dr. Fuck, and I got an exclusive interview with Mr. Eddie Trunk. How you doing, Eddie? Hey, how's it going? Wow, you got a cold? That doesn't sound like Eddie Trunk. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> me, 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 me. I have rock stars that talk to me. Oh shit, it is you. Eddie, uh, I saw recently this thing that you were talking about Van Halen back in the 80s when you saw David Lee Roth, and it was like 20-minute drum solos, and Eddie was up there with a sword uh, for like 15 minutes. You know, I was there, Eddie, and, and there's documented proof on YouTube that, you know, the drum solo is like two minutes long, uh, Dave with a uh, sword about maybe two minutes tops. Why do you badmouth David Lee Roth in classic Van Halen? You see, Ralph, the reason for that is because uh, you know, other people, they actually talk to me, you know, David doesn't talk to me and I keep asking him to come on. He doesn't talk to me. And the reason I don't really like Ed that much is because his last name isn't trunk. Oh, me, 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 me. Looks like Mike Portnoy just texted me. He's a really good friend of mine. Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, so Eddie, um, I see you bitching a lot about Paul Stanley. Well, yeah, it's because he doesn't talk to me. And I, I notice you're really upset about this whole lip syncing thing. You see, I hate rock stars that do lip syncing because it's the opposite of rock and roll. It is the complete opposite of rock and roll. When people pay good, hard-earned money to go to a show, they want to see a show, you know? They put in money to see a show, not something that they could, you know, just make up on a computer because it's fake. It's just fake. So, yeah, I, I've heard you've had this long history with Paul Stanley and that uh, you all were friends at one time and then that all went to but, shit. Okay, because, Ralph, but, Ralph, no. okay, Ralph, Ralph, me, uh, me, huh? me, me, Ralph, Ralph, uh, me, uh, me, oh, oh, me, okay. not Ralph, okay, me, okay. The reason for that is because he doesn't talk to me. You're, you're wondering why he doesn't uh, do interviews with me? It's because he doesn't talk to me. Simple as that. Yeah, but Eddie, you're always saying I, I have no filter. Oh, me, and me, say, me, me, talk, talk, me. Only me talk. Uh, he doesn't talk to me. And if he talked to me, I'd, I'd be glad to bring him on, but he doesn't talk to me. Okay. So you won't, you won't badmouth Ace. Well, Ralph, duh, he has that song called Talk To Me. So, of course, he's going to talk to me. Oh, so, me. The, so yeah. So the, when he wrote Talk To Me, he was actually talking about you. Yes. So it's All talk I need is a little conversation on Eddie Trunk's podcast. Ah, so it's like Talk To Me, 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 Me. And, of course, Ralph, you forget this, you forget this, I, as in me, as in not you, as in me and I, got him signed to Megaforce Records. That was me. Well, Eddie, I mean, you know, you're, you're so vocal about Paul Stanley lip-syncing, but uh, Joe Elliott lip-syncs, too. Why oh, don't no, you ever... no, Ralph, Ralph, Ralph. Okay, he talks to me, though. Joe Elliott, he talks to me. Does he talk to you? And Paul Stanley lip-syncs, and I don't like that. It's not rock and roll, and he doesn't talk to me. Eddie, you're like the spokesman of metal. You're the guy that gets all the the, the credential for being the spokesman yeah, of metal. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Well why, well, why don't you talk about newer bands for the future well, I, of metal? Ralph, 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 okay? Me as an I, I talk about new bands all the time. I just talked about Greta Van Fleet. I refuse to take a side in the argument, but I mentioned them. Uh, Greta Van Fleet, I talked about them on my show. I, as in me, talked about them on my show. And of course, there's that band Ghost. Both these bands, as in bands that me, I am talking about, sound like older bands. I'm not stuck in a time warp, as in me. Well, I don't understand because... Oh, 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 God, God damn it. it. But look, okay, this show, as in this is my show, the Eddie Trunk Podcast, which is created by Eddie Trunk, as in I... We'll soon have many of these bands on this show. Bands like Greta Van Fleet and Ghost. Many, many bands. Many new, fresh-sounding bands that I discovered. Yeah, one could argue that. I'm, I'm a humble guy. I'm a humble guy. I didn't... I... Yeah, but Eddie, this isn't your podcast. This is me interviewing uh, you. Oh, wow, wow. Oh, this Jesus. is my podcast. This is the Eddie Trunk Show. Well, Eddie, I don't know, man. You seem like a, Look, a little... I, I'm oh, sorry. But this, this, this is going on a little too long. I'm going to have to drop this. I'm sorry. But, uh, you know, the show's about to get a lot more interesting. I got Mike Port and I coming on soon. I got Alex Lifeson texting me right now, of course. You may have heard from this band. 
Uh, this new up and coming band called Rush. I don't know if you've heard of them, Ralph. Huh? Uh, brand new. They just put out their first album called Clockwork Angels. They're very fresh and exciting, and they're about to be on this show, which is my show. And you can be treated to me and only me running this show, created by I, where you'll see also a cast of several featured guests that are all my personal personal friends that are also on my phone these are all very famous rock stars that you may have heard of and of course they are always not texting you ralph they are texting me 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 i me but i'll i'll catch you around ralph thanks for the call but wait eddie i just got one more question so please don't go I just sorry got one sorry more me 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 i i i me gotta go bye <laughs>